Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Um, it is 9.30 or so in the morning. Um, I just got ready. Usually I never get ready first. I always like do everything throughout the day and then get ready last. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I got ready today. I actually put on makeup, which is so weird because I, I've been hating it lately. Um, I think I mentioned that in the last vlog. But we have a pretty chill day today. We're having some friends come over to swim. So it's, oh my gosh, it's so nice to actually have something at home that like we can do in this heat because usually where I live, it's literally so hot. And there's really nothing around here to like go to like cool off for the day. What, babe? It's cute? What's cute? A bird is on a tree. Cute. Um, so basically you just stay inside with your air conditioner cranked all the way up and that's like the summer if you don't have like a boat or a pool or know somebody with a pool. So it's super cool to actually have something here that us and the kids can enjoy and friends come over and enjoy too. So we're going to be doing that today and then... Um, I just have some stuff around the house today. I think I have a flooring appointment. It's on our chicken. Oh, on ours? Where? Oh, man. There was a bird? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm sure he'll come back. <laughs> um, but, yeah, babe. But, yeah, I have a flooring, like, appointment. I got to talk to this guy. Um, I'm going between a couple swatches um price friendlier options than the one that i really like and what else <gasps> shut up shut up shut up there was an ant on my foot biting me <gasps> he bit me shit oh my gosh <sighs> it's because i was freaking walking outside there's an ant on my slippy p.s these are from target they're like slipper socks and they're amazing oh shit ow um, anyways, yeah, so we have a couple things to do today. Not, not too much going on. Um, flooring stuff, whatever. I guess I'll let you guys know as the day goes on. Also, I want to sit down and do like a little, um, baby name thing. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, let's go out to the pool. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm just going to check things so we can swim a little bit later. Um... here I'm gonna turn on the cleaner check the temperature and put the pumps into high speed so it's nice and clean when our friends get here I'm gonna do like a little quick clean cycle Let's see so we're gonna go here quick clean Two. then I'm gonna grab some of this stuff. This stuff is so cool. So you put this in the pool before you have people over or when you guys are gonna go swimming and you put like five ounces in and it's pool water moisturizer and freshener. So it it makes the pool smell so fresh and clean. Like when you're jumping in, when you're getting in, you can smell it all day. And it makes your skin not as dry from the chlorine. So I'm gonna throw some of this in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. About that, I would say. And then I just pour it over like the pump, which is, or the um, jets. Let's pour a letter, little extra for good measure. Incredible. I would wear this like on my body. So the jets are mixing it all up. And then I'm gonna go turn the pool pump on. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, 
There he goes. I mean, not pull pump, pull cleaner. Pull cleaner? Pull robot. We call him Roby. That's Roby. I got this for Sully's um, birthday in September because he was supposed to have an Avengers party. Our backyard, the pool and everything, the landscaping was supposed to be done like two months before his birthday party. So I planned this Avengers swim party and then the pool ended up not being ready. So I was super bummed and um, I never brought this out. And then I found it in the closet a couple days ago. So I brought it out and I pumped it up, threw it in the pool. So I was so excited for it. And then it had a hole in it. So <laughs> super bummed out. But it's hella cool. I'm going to try and find the hole and like um, patch it up or something because it would be fun to use on 4th of July. Pool oh guard. Yeah, I can be the sun. You need to get away. It's time we make a change. Oh, you know, you'll always have me. Laundry going, and I am going to make a little cup of coffee. I am out of this, so I'm going to pull a decaf shot really quick. So, I'm going to put this little guy. Is that your second favorite? My second favorite? I don't know. So, with the Nespresso, I haven't found a lot I like. This is the decaf one I've been using. Altiso decaffeinated. Deca decaffeinato. Altiso decaffeinato. I don't know. But anyways, it's the purple one. And I do really like the flavor. It's very good. Um shot glass it's really good it's just you need three of them to do like an iced coffee and they're not cheap so kind of expensive I did find um, some iced coffee ones we got the this one ice forte um, the like ombre blue one um, and it's really really nice it's a little bitter and I have not tried this one yet. Uh, this one is the Legero. Um, it's smaller though. But I haven't tried this one yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Nespresso, honestly. I really, I don't know, I feel like it makes very bitter, bitter coffee. Um, and there's a difference between bitter and strong, I feel like. Uh, so I, I don't know if I just haven't found like a, a good one that I like yet. Um, and I worked at Starbucks for five years at a lot of you know, so I am pretty picky. And I, and I know what I'm talking about. So I don't like super sweet drinks or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. But also, I got it ever since I was pregnant, so I've really only been dabbling with the decaf ones. So maybe I just need to hold out. If you have any Nespresso favorites, let me know. I would love to hear them. Okay, so one of those. I'm going to do a little bit of half to half. And a tiny bit of whipped cream because because it's Wednesday. I don't know. Whipped cream, can I have whipped cream? Sure, come here. <laughs> Was that a lot? Sorry. <laughs> Give it a little mixy and let's go talk baby news. Oh, I forgot my flavor, so I'm just gonna do a couple pumps of vanilla today. Give it four. And that's it. These these are the morning the morning morning syrups from Amazon. They're really good. They're a little on the pricier side, but they're so good. Okay. I put my coffee in I wasn't fi feeling very aesthetic, so I put my coffee in a cuter cup. 
Okay, cute. Okay, I, oh my gosh, it's freezing in here. I'm really cold. I feel like I need something to hold. I'm so annoying. I annoy myself. Oh. Okay. Oh, I don't know why my hair, it's so cold right now. Okay, I'm ready to share my baby names that I love but won't be using. But I actually might share with you. But I actually might share with you the ones that I w would pretend that. Like the one that I didn't pick over this baby's name. Um, because we have decided not to completely rule out baby number three. Which blows my mind because I was absolutely. We were set on this being the last one. Um. But now we're kind of entertaining the thought of a third, just kind of depending on like how this birth goes and like how I feel when this baby is like four months. So, um, so my baby names just like preferencing just so my, the baby names I tend to lean toward towards are different, unique, um, like more on the edgy side. Um, majority of my baby names start with S. That's not something that I thought was going to bother me, but when I actually like write down a name and it's not an S, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I have to keep it with Sawyer's. I know it's bizarre. Trust me, it annoys me too. So, um, majority of my baby names are like 99.9% .9 of my baby names are S's. Um, and when I say I like unique names, I feel like everybody says that. So, Obviously, you've probably heard all of these names before, but I just get hung up on if a name gets really popular. So I can absolutely love a name, and if it like takes off and gets super popular, I literally won't use it anymore. Like It bothers me. I know that's annoying, but my mind just gets hung up on it. So like for Sawyer, I his name was pretty much settled. Um... And I even had something like an outfit that was personalized with this name on it. And then it just blew up like a couple months before he was born. It literally took off. Three people in my little town named their kid it. Um, and I just couldn't. I was like, I can't use it anymore. I just couldn't get past it. And that name was Grayson. And I still love that name. I think it's a beautiful name. I just, it got so popular. So um, I didn't end up using it but I did love it a lot. Um, so that's just kind of like telling you guys like where I'm coming from, but I'm going to start off my baby boy names. Um, from, I'm going to tell you my names from like least, least like, not least liked cause I like them all, but like ones I know I'm not going to use. And then I'll potentially tell you guys the ones that I was going to use for this one. And if there's a third, possibly maybe still use them, but I don't know. So anyways, the first name that I really like is Knox, and this is pretty popular now. It's been on my baby list. Um, multiple of these names actually have been on my boy baby list since um, I was looking for Sawyer. So this was one of them, and the way that I like it spelt is N-O-X-X. -X. I think it's edgy. I really like it. Um, yeah, so Knox. Um, the second name I have is Nash and I think it's adorable. I've seen people use it and they actually name their child Nashville and then they call him Nash for short, which I think is really cute. It's obviously real country. Um, and so I would just use Nash and I, I just, I think it's adorable. I love it. Uh, the third name that I really like is Sloan and that's a more like common name I wanna say. I wanna say Sloan is like a, like an old name like a classic name, I think. I'm not really sure, but my mom hated it, so cross that one off. Um, another name I like, again, with the S, is Seven, and I would spell it S-E-V-Y-N. I've never heard anybody call, named Seven, never really seen it before. Um, it's very edgy, and I just, I really like it, but I'll probably never end up using it. Um, and the next one is Steel, S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E. I think it's really edgy again. And I just picture like a, 
little boy with like dark hair and blue eyes even though blue eyes is very unlikely for my child um but i just think it's a really nice name and then the name that i kept going back to the name that has been on my list even for sawyer it's always been in my top and for even for this baby um the baby that I picked, this the name that I picked for this baby trumped everything else. Like, so it's not like I was in between them, but like I kept looking at it. Like it's it's never left me. But I obviously didn't pick it two times now, and so I'm just gonna tell you guys. And that name is Sterling. I love it. I know it's more more common. Um, I don't know anybody with the name Sterling or who has named their child Sterling. But I just think it sounds so like solid and sleek and I just think it's really cute for a little boy and it sounds like a really nice um, man name also. Sterling. I just, I love it. So those are my boy names. So if I do end up having baby number three, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to come up with something else. <laughs> um, and then over to my girl names. So my girl names list is... A lot littler because to be completely honest I, I don't expect I will have a girl and so I never really spent the time on really looking for girls names my number one girl name that I will not be sharing just in case um, I have two I have two that I kind of don't want to share so we'll see how I feel in like 30 seconds but oh my gosh I forgot one of my boy names Okay, back to the boys. Um, this name, I absolutely freaking love. And I'm not going to use it because it's taken off recently and it and it bothers me. Um, this name was on my list for Sawyer also. But at the time I was pregnant with Sawyer, this one was a little too weird. And like when I would tell people this name, they were like, mmm. So it just made me, usually I don't care what people think, but it just made me feel uneasy. And that is Sutton. I love that name. It is taking off right now and it makes me so sad. Um, it makes me so sad because to me, the name Sutton um, actually means something. So it was the name of my high school English teacher's name, um, Miss Sutton. She was one of the best teachers I ever had. And I actually met Ryan, um, in her class um, he oops, he had her class right after me and so we literally met and seen each other for the first time like coming out of the door and like that's where like our flirting started to happen and so I just think it would be so cute to name one of our children after the English teacher that um, in the class that we met and it's just it's it's basically so trendy right now and it makes me so sad because I would have used that for this baby in a heartbeat but um yeah makes me sad but anyways that's on my girls list so the name Sutton I absolutely love um and then like I said my number one name I'm not gonna show you guys um just because there's like a tiny chance that we'll have baby number three and it'll be a girl but most likely not <laughs> um and then so another name on my girls list is Scout and I think it's so cute um i don't know i picture a tom like a tomboy running around with this name but also i think it would be so cool to like have a girly girl with the name scout like i don't know i think it's adorable um and then one name i really really like for a girl is i think actually a unique name and i've never heard it i have no idea when this got on my list or where i heard it from and that is spiria s-p-i-r-i-a-h spiria and i just think it sounds very what's the word um ethereal is that the word like very whimsical and like i don't know spiria i think it's so pretty so pretty i feel like i would totally use that but i don't know what you'd call her for like short like there's no nickname for that i think so Okay, and then my two top girl names. I'm debating on sharing. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share. Okay, so 
I'm gonna share my second top girl name because um, it's actually a pretty common, well, it's actually a extremely common word. You've heard it before. Um, I've just never heard anybody name their child it. And that is September. And I just think it's so pretty and it's so feminine. And I love that it starts with an S. And I love, I loved this name so much because of the nickname I would give her, which would be Timber. Um, so her name would be September and I'd call her Timber for short. And I just, I love it. Like I absolutely love it. I hope that that name doesn't get like trendy um, because if I did have a girl, it would be like my top for sure. I even think it almost out trumps my number one girl name. It's just my number one girl name stays in that spot, I think, because I've never heard it ever. So, um, which I'm sure people have, but as for me, I haven't. So those are my top baby names that I love and might potentially be using. Um, but yeah, so those are all my baby names. So obviously this baby's name starts with an S and I adore it. I've had it picked out before he was conceived. I actually, um, obviously I've had my other top baby boy names, but they've never, but they've never trumped this one. I've always thought about them. Um, that's why they're in my top list, but they've never trumped this one. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And, um, so if you guys want to guess in the comments what baby boy's name is going to be, um, like I said, it starts with an S. I would love to see if you guys could guess what it is because I don't think anybody would, I don't think anybody will guess it. Um, but if you want to try, I would love to read your guys' comments. So <sighs> yeah, that's it for my baby names. And oh, I wanted to show you guys these. Hold on. <laughs> my friend made these for me um i picked out the font and everything their milestone um you know pregnancy milestone things um they're out of wood and i think she stained the middle i'm not really sure if her machine does that or if she did that but i will link her shop down below she does a lot of cute stuff like this she does um a lot of like Disney stuff and like Disney ears and just like a bunch of stuff so I don't know I thought these were perfect and I got them every like five weeks because I'm not taking a picture every week it's just not gonna happen I've actually failed um, taking like the picture so far but if you guys want to check out her shop I'm sure she would love that so those those are very special to me so this is the bathing suit that I just got it is blue um i thought it was a maternity bathing suit i got it at tj maxx um because it has like a bunch of ruching on it but i don't think it's a maternity bathing suit anymore it's extremely tight for the size that it is um and there's like no give to it whatsoever at all so i think it's supposed to be like a regular bathing suit with ruching um but i'll be able to wear it for a little bit um well, at least buy me a little bit of time but I'm for sure gonna have to find a bathing suit a good maternity bathing suit I don't even know where to look um, but it's a really pretty color I love blue and it is blue Let's see if I could get a better view <laughs> I still have my slippers on but it's really cute it's like stripes I think it's like stripes Let me see. that's what it looks like <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, there's no give. There's no give here. And I sized up because it like my size 100% would not fit me. So I sized up and it's too big up here. <laughs> so it's like not supportive up here whatsoever where that's where I need it to be. Um, and then there's no give. So definitely don't think it's a maternity bathing suit anymore. <laughs> but um, it is cute. It's cute for right now, I guess. <laughs> I like, can't breathe in it. I just threw this t-shirt over because I don't feel like putting my dress back on. Um, but I need to take off my makeup. 
before I go out there because uh, uh, there's one more. Thank gosh. I need more. Oh no, I'm out of my face wipes. Because um, I get tan in the sun super fast. Like the second I'm outside, I'm tan. Like my arms, I have not one time laid out in the sun. And like, your girl's dark. Um, but I always cover my face. So my face is a lot lighter and I don't want makeup on it. While I go out there to like bake in all the makeup chemicals. Um, I just noticed that Soy has fingerprints all over my camera, so hopefully this isn't blurry, but I will clean that in a minute. I'm just gonna um, take off the makeup, I think with a makeup wipe. I don't know if I wanna put lotion on or not. I don't use SPF, I know, I know, but I'm on the hunt for one. Um, Honestly, I believe SPF does more harm than good. Um, I'm, I'm clearly not saying go sit in the sun and bake and not use SPF. But like every day and stuff, I feel like the sun is healthy for your skin. And um, yeah, that's just what I think. There's so many chemicals in sunscreen. You're telling me you put that on your face and then the sun baking it into your face is supposed to be healthy? I don't know. I have some hangups about it. Um... And I heard Supergoop was like, all the influencers rave about Supergoop. And so I checked their sunscreen out, their sunscreen line out, and it has like not good ingredients in it. So I'm on the hunt for a healthy sunscreen. Um, so if you have any recommendations, let me have them, please. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do that really quick. Do I wait for my friend to get here so she can at least see that I've attempted to get ready or do I just take it off now? I just decided to take it off. <sighs> I'm really loving that foundation I showed you guys the other day, the Physician's Formula. I think it's called Butter, Butter something. Uh, it's really nice and it's like, it looks really natural on the skin I think. At least I think so. And I'm really picky, so it takes a lot for me to say that. But I think it looks really nice and very skin-like. And I don't know if it's just like because I've been using a brush lately, but oh my gosh, it lasts. I use a half a pump, and I don't even use the full half a pump. It's crazy. All right, so that's all my makeup on my face. And I'm just going to oh, need another tower wipey. Our ice maker on their fridge went out, which sucks because it's literally a three-year-old fridge. But we had we had we bought an ice maker for the trailer. That way we can keep an ice maker in the trailer when we go camping. And I'm one who always needs ice in my drinks. So if I'm making a drink or an iced coffee in the morning. I am not going to get that. Everyone's like, just use the ice out of the ice chest. Absolutely not. No, disgusting. So we bought this for the trailer so we'd always have fresh ice on hand. And um, Rye went and got it out of the trailer and put it on the counter. So um, I could have some ice here because I think this is Whirlpool. They're messing up. My best friend has the same fridge and hers is like a year and a half old. And her ice maker already went out. You have some explaining to do at Whirlpool. So I just filled up my cup with some ice and then I'm going to, um, I'm really wanting tea but I don't know, need any more caffeine today. So I'm going to use this that would focus for me, the little Mio sweet tea and it's pretty darn good actually. Pretty good. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, we spent the evening, or yeah, it's like 7 o'clock. We were swimming outside, and it was very hot. Um, I'm going to quit 
cook a quick dinner and get everybody in bed where I just got home. So yeah, I don't think there's much else to vlog for the day. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what me and Soy have going on in the next videos, then please subscribe and we will see you guys later. Bye guys.